I'll tell you, Rombo, that, uh, that's a good nickname, Rombo. So he wins the Masters, second Spaniard to win two majors, joining Seve Ballesteros. And his wife, two kids, he's, yeah, he was really adorable. His kids are adorable. But he came in four strokes back, was two strokes behind Brooks Kopka, made up four strokes. What did he shoot, a 69? Kopka shot a 75 in the in the final. I watched, I watched the last couple holes. I mean, it was on late at night. It looked gorgeous there. They had crazy weather, trees falling, all that crap. But, you know, was, what was really interesting was Zach Ertz sent him a text right before he was going to play his first hole on Thursday, and he said, <laughs> he said to him, that first green looking like a walk in the park. So he four putts, double bogey, and he said to him, don't ever do that again, please. But Zach Ertz, he goes, Super Bowl winning, Zach Ertz. And Rom, perfect. I mean, beautiful English, probably much better English than my Spanish would be. And uh, yeah, 28 years old. I think he's won almost 13 million, over 3 million for winning the Masters. And the jacket costs $250. You're not supposed to wear it outside. I think Gary Player wore it when he, when he had people at his house. I think he had his framed. And Sebi had his at his house. And uh, you're only supposed to wear it on the grounds or whatever. And I think Gary Player said, come and get it. Or Seve said, come and get it. And Billy Casper asked to be buried in his, which he was. I mean, hey, you know, shit, man. Why not? And there's a waiting list. I think it's $40,000 to get in. And when uh, Bill Gates got his green jacket, there's a seniority list. So he had to stay at a like a local hotel in Augusta because he couldn't get lodging on the grounds. Bill Gates, $109 billion, had to get stay at an Econo Lodge because he couldn't stay at the place. But he was so excited to get in, which is bullshit. I mean, he, you know, Bill Gates, what does he get in? Because he's Bill Gates. So who knows? And it and it's been Lily White. I think Lee Elder was the first guy to get to get membership. But you know, come on, it's as racist as racist is down there. But you know, it's getting a little better, I guess. You know, but you know, a lot a lot of shit there, and a lot hasn't changed. I saw that Tiger Woods ball in his final round of the Masters ninety seven made sixty was sold for sixty four thousand. He did withdraw. I'll tell you, Nick uh, Phil Mickelson finished tied for second, eight under. He had a very nice couple rounds, and that kid Bennett out of Oak, oh, I'm sorry, Texas A&M, I don't want to bash that one. He ended up finishing 16th, which was after, you know, shot 70s the last two rounds, but 60s in the first two rounds, was second, I think, after the first round, but nothing to shake a tail feather at the former U.S. amateur champ. And his father had said something to him about, you know, never giving up, and his fa- it sounded like his father had ALS, because he, the father's last note, he had tattoo, it's tattooed on his forearm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I thought that was very impressive. And, you know, I sent, I, I sent my podcast to Hal, Dom, and, 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 and Dr., and the, Dr. B, Dr., Dr. B. And Dr. B's father-in-law bought him a Texas golf cart that has the Texas fight song on it. I thought it was just something there, but Dr. B, I was like, that is awesome. So his kids got off the golf cart and, you know, were dancing to the 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 Longhorns fight song. And I was like, holy shit. I think Dom posted that. I was like, wow. I was like, Jesus. I mean, they're hardcore fans. God bless them. They are hardcore fans. So props to them. Big props to them. Now, I saw the Rangers tonight play the Sabres. And the they won on Saturday night four nothing over Columbus. Shesterkin career high thirty seven wins, and American born skaters even strength goals. Patrick Kane is tied with Mike Madano with eight hundred thirty four. That's the most by an American born skater, which is crazy. And now after when leading after two periods, the Rangers are twenty six four and three. If the Canes win at Ottawa tonight, they clinch home ice in the first round, and they are they are second in the NHL with twenty seven home wins which would bode well going to the playoffs. I thought the Devils could catch them, but if the Canes win at Ottawa tonight, it's all over. That's the end of that. Now, the Padres are at the Mets. Mets lost yesterday 7-2. Carrasco 0-2 with an 11.42 ERA, which is no bueno. No bueno at all. Four, four and two-third innings, six runs, 
A strikeout, three base on balls, two home runs yesterday. Not good. Starling Marte exited game with a neck strain after collision while stealing third base. So we'll see how this goes going forward. And, oh, I should have led with this. OBJ is going to the Ravens. Thank you. He can make up the 18 million. The Mets, I'm sorry, the Jets had a chance to match and the Jets went, fuck that. Thank God I did not want him being a New York Jet. I didn't want that at all. No. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now there's they're trying to get OBJ because him and Lamar were FaceTiming saying, you know, playing together, winning a Super Bowl title. Okay, yeah, OBJ. Why OBJ is getting fifteen million up to eighteen million for a guy that's, you know, over the hill is beyond me. I mean, he was at the fight on UFC two eighty seven I saw on Saturday night, but thank God the Jets didn't get him. And I'm glad they didn't match it because I think they realized they could do a lot better and let someone else deal with his headache. Toxic. He's toxic. I, I didn't want him. And and they're they're not any closer to signing Lamar Jackson, so they think maybe that you know OBJ can talk to him. But you know we shall see how that goes going forward. But I was very ecstatic that they did not re-sign that they did not sign OBJ because I was like I did not want him to be a Jet. I still don't want him to be a Jet, and he doesn't have to be a Jet. Let him be the Ravens' problem. I don't, and he doesn't really improve that team that much. You're not bringing in a 22 year old now. They're saying Jackson Najigba Smith is the some teams are saying only first round grade for wide receivers. So this year they're saying, I mean, there's a lot of guys that can play, but there's not, there's still going to be someone that's going to bust out from this draft. That's what they're saying, a first round grade. But once they get on the field, another thing happens, you know? I mean, some of these guys are going to bust out, and we'll see what happens. I don't think uh, Jordan Addison, I thought he had a shitty year for USC. That kid at the TCU is supposed to be a burner. I mean, there's a lot of guys this year that had very good seasons, but will they pan out? Hey, you know, listen, Jerry Rice.